Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is my third time recording this. <laughs> First one I recorded outside, too windy. Second time, corrupt file. So here we go. If this doesn't work, there will be no video. So I was recording outside because Giacomo and I are in the process of hopefully buying a home and moving and our house is just chaos right now. So there's really no good place to film. So I'm filming in a corner of my office where you can't see the chaos from here down, but it's there, I promise you. Um, anyway, so I wanted to get back into our body image series that we've been working on. The last episode we talked about wearing comfortable clothes, which I think is so important. Today, we're actually gonna do two tips that I think are kind of like sister tips, but they're opposing. And that might sound kind of strange, but I actually think that there are lots of different things somebody could do to help improve their own body image that would be different depending on the current mindset that you're in. So there's a tip for when you're having a really bad body image day, and then there's other another bigger tip for, you know, when your body image is like kind of okay, but you really wanna work on it getting better. So let's get into it. So the first tip is on days where you are having really bad body image days, you know, maybe something is just off, something big is going on in your life and for whatever reason you're taking it out on your own body or maybe you had a really big meal last night and you woke up bloated and you just know this is gonna be a bad body image day. I think that it's perfectly okay to avoid mirrors, <laughs> um, to avoid looking at yourself in the mirror, whether it's at home or at the gym or a reflection in a glass at work or what have you. I think it's okay to avoid those things when you know you're having really bad days. So one of the symptoms of a clinical body dysmorphia diagnosis is body checking and that is exactly what it sounds like. You're constantly checking your body, whether that's going to the bathroom and like looking at your abs or pinching at your skin or any of those things. It's called body checking. It's, it's not a good thing to do. And I find that when you're having bad body image days or even like a bad body image hour, you don't need the additional pressure of being forced to look at yourself in the mirror and you know pick yourself apart because that's what you're going to do when you're having those days you're not going to look at yourself and be like i love this you're going to look at yourself and you're going to pick apart what you perceive to be your flaws so i think if this is for a short period of time a couple of days um you know putting a blanket over the mirrors or if you're going to the gym what i do when i'm having these particular days which is <laughs> Can tell you when this happens it's always the month or two after a competition prep when i'm actively trying to put some body fat back on my body because i need to get healthier and i know i'm doing it on purpose and i know it but that doesn't make it comfortable or pleasant and i don't really want to watch it happen live in front of me in the mirrors at the gym so i just throw on a big hoodie and i just work out in a big hoodie and i think that's perfectly okay as long as you're doing it in small doses it's a different thing if you are avoiding mirrors forever. Um, so a lot of people who really do struggle with body image, they start to do this with good intentions and then they just kind of never really look at themselves in a mirror. They literally avoid themselves and looking at themselves a huge portion of the time. And at that point, it's just an avoidant behavior, not like a, a one-off kindness to yourself, which is what I think it should be. So if you're somebody who tends to avoid looking at their bodies in general, you know, you spend very little time looking at your body, no more than you have to. This is my bigger, broader tip if you really do want to improve the relationship you have with your body. It's that you spend more time with your body hear me out. I know that sounds silly. Like I'm always with my body, right? But are you actually like seeing it and experiencing it? What I'm talking about when it comes down to brass tacks is spending more time naked, <laughs> spending more time lounging around your house in your underwear. I'm not talking about, you know, emperor's new clothes, marching up and down the street naked or anything, but just spending more time, more exposed than you normally would. It's really hard to develop a relationship with your body where you actually uh, enjoy or appreciate your various body parts if you go out of your way to never see them. How are you ever gonna be in a place where you can kind of feel okay with your stomach or your thighs or your arms when you don't really experience them very often? 
So I'll give you a very common scenario. When do most people experience their bodies like basically in their underwear? When they're at the beach or when they're at the pool in the summer. So this is like a handful of times in the summer. When are people the most uncomfortable with their bodies out in public? Most people would say when they're in a bathing suit. And yes, definitely this is like some of the most exposed that you'll ever be out in public. But if you have not spent time walking around your house in your underwear or you know, sitting down, lying down, rolling over, getting up, walking around, God forbid, uh, playing volleyball or jumping around, if you haven't spent time with your body doing those things and then you just think you're gonna feel really confident at the beach or you think the reason that you're not feeling confident in the beach is just because you look a certain way. I mean, certainly many of us wish we could change the way we look to some degree, but I would argue that a huge portion of what you're feeling when you're at the beach isn't just like the fact that you don't like the way that you look, it's that you're so uncomfortable because you don't spend a lot of time like that with yourself. And now you're supposed to do that with other people, with friends, family, strangers, it's gonna be uncomfortable. So I would actually recommend, you know, you don't have to be naked all the time or anything, but you know, if you never wear shorts out in public, wear shorts around your house. If you never wear a tank top or a crop top or anything like that out in public, try doing it just around your house, either just by yourself or maybe around your partner or, or your immediate family who doesn't care. I mean, this, this, the circumstances are gonna be different for everybody. But if you can get used to your body in all of these different positions, you don't have to love it. I think it's unrealistic for, to just expect everybody to do this and one day they wake up and they love the fact that they have roles when they sit down. Not really realistic, but if you can accept it and understand it and realize that that's normal, which we're gonna get into a whole nother video about like, what, what are normal bodies? It's a broad spectrum, but I would argue that 99% of people have roles when they sit down. And I say this as a physique competitor who I've competed at over a dozen, I don't even know how many bodybuilding shows, a lot of natural bodybuilding shows. And even though everybody looks stellar on stage, if you go backstage, when you see people like not flexed and posed and in lights and you just see them kind of like ugh, hanging around waiting in between sets, you're gonna see a lot of pancake butts. You're gonna see a lot of rolls as people sit down. You're gonna see glutes and thighs pooling. Um, you know, when they sit on chairs or on the ground, because that's what bodies do. Even muscle when it's not flexed is really soft, guys. Yes, if you, I don't care if you have giant biceps and triceps, if it's not flexed and you just jiggle it around, it's gonna jiggle. That's what unflexed muscle does. You see cellulite stretch mark, scars, you see all kinds of things and sometimes on world-class elite athletes. And I say this only to illustrate the fact that a lot of what we think of our own bodies as being flawed is actually really normal. It's just not the thing most people are taking pictures of and posting on Instagram. So there's a whole other video that, top, that will uh, tackle this topic coming. But in the meantime, I wanted to give these two practical tips for you. If you're having a really bad body image day, just avoid the mirrors. It's okay if you do this for a few days. But if you want a better relationship with your body long-term, spend more time with your nearly naked body. Just spend more time with it. It's really hard at first. It gets easier. It gets easier and easier and easier to the point that I have, <laughs> there was a point in my life, it's been a long time, but people used to make fun of me because I would like forget that I was basically in my skivvies and I would like answer the door like that. I've grown up a lot, but that's, <laughs> that's a true story. And my high school friends will probably chime in uh, somewhere in here to confirm that that is true. And I would like to point out that in high school, I was not a physique competitor. I was not a fitness person at all. I was a 210 pound uh, tuba player, teenager, who just wanted to have a decent relationship with their body. So I spent a lot of time in the skivvies and I think it helped. 
a lot. So I figured I'd pass this really unconventional tip on to you guys. I am very curious to hear what you think. I hope this is helpful. I pray that this file is good. Otherwise, you'll never get this tip. And be sure to come back uh, next week. We're going to take a break from this series for a week because we are going to do a video recipe of a Thai peanut, peanut, <laughs> of a Thai peanut lettuce wrap that is very macro friendly. We've had it for dinner a couple weeks now, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So. Let me know what you think of this tip in the comment down below and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.